I did a video on Monday looking at the pros and cons from a neutral perspective of keeping Jose Mourinho as Manchester United manager, but I wanted to do this video today to explain exactly why I still back Mourinho as manager and why I think you should still back him as well. Now before we get into it, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and get involved in United People's TV. It does make a massive difference, so please do. But let's get straight into it because, as I said, I kind of wanted to do an honest video on my opinion of Jose Mourinho, the current situation at Manchester United, because it's calmed down a little bit after the Brighton game. But I've been on a bit of a journey with Jose Mourinho even before he became Manchester United manager. When Fergie retired, Mourinho was an option. I said, hell no. I was stuck. I wasn't stuck, but I, was, I suppose I was on a high horse. Man United were champions of the league. I was like, we don't need the Mourinho way. Sod that. Fergie then went and he recommended David Moyes. And then we have Moyes and then we have Van Howe. And after three years of that, I was very much pro Mourinho. I realised that at that time, Manchester United needed a manager to come in and win silverware. And Mourinho does that. And he came in in his first year, became the first manager in United's history to win silverware with the Europa League and League Cup double, finished second in his second year to Man City, that anomaly team. And now we're coming into the point where the third season of Jose Mourinho is the third season syndrome kicking in. And for a lot of people it is. And I understand a lot of the frustrations with Jose Mourinho because he is, nine times out of 10, a miserable bastard. He does have a dour face. He does have a dour demeanor. But that's the manager he is. And we knew what we were getting when we signed him up. Ed Woodward knew exactly the manager he was getting when he signed him up. A manager who spends big. And as Jamie Carragher said on Monday Night Football, he spends for today, to win today. Mourinho's not building a squad for three years down the line that's going to win the title. He wants to win it now. And that is why Manchester United and Ed Woodward make such a big mistake not backing Jose Mourinho this summer. Yes, he's had a lot of money spent already. Yes, we should be getting more out of Lindelof and Baye, the two centre-backs that Mourinho signed. But you can't back Mourinho for two seasons and then at that point decide, you know what, I've actually had a bit of a change of heart. Especially after giving him a new contract in January. That was the biggest indication from a fan perspective that the club trusted Mourinho and what he was going to do. Now, the problems at the club right now are clear to see. Off the pitch, there are a hell of a lot more problems than I think we'll all realise and we all know because we're not privy to that info. But on the pitch, Mourinho's team still does not have that identity. You can't really say a formation or a style that Manchester United play. And that's three years into Mourinho's tenure. He's fucked up there. He is fucking up there. He's not doing his job as manager properly. But the last thing I want to do is get rid of Jose Mourinho now, whether it's now, um, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, and bring in a new manager. Because we've had Moyes, we've had Van Howe, and now we've had Mourinho. And if after two and a half years he started building a squad that he does, and Zinedine Zidane, for example, comes in, what's Zidane going to do? He's going to sell half the squad. We're then back, stuck in that period of transition again. And Manchester United, for me, it would have taken another step backwards. Yes, Mourinho, I can understand why so many fans are frustrated with what's going on right now. But remember that when he took over Manchester United, we were sixth in the league. And he took us to finish in second. He's won the Europa League. He's won the League Cup. He's got to the FA Cup final as well. It's hardly been a shitstorm under Jose Mourinho. Remember the barren days of the 80s where Manchester United did sweet fuck all. We've won titles, trophies, maybe not the title that we all want under Jose Mourinho, but he has been far from a failure. And I just think the criticism of Mourinho is a bit harsh. Maybe I'm being a hypocrite because I was hypercritical of Louis van Gaal, but van Gaal was different. That was mundane. Remember that period in December? <laughs> we haven't seen that under Mourinho. And yeah, there are a hell of a lot of reasons to get frustrated with Mourinho. But for me, I still back Jose Mourinho as Manchester United manager. And fans absolutely should still be backing him. Because the grass for me is not greener on the other side. If Zinedine Zidane or anybody else, Laurent Blanc, Ryan Giggs, any manager you want to name, comes in, it doesn't mean that it's going to be better. But it's the, it's the mindset that football fans get into. It's why fans love the summer so much. You sign a new player, oh, it's a new player. Somebody new to get excited about. Things are changing. That's the mindset that some are getting into 
with the manager. And that our new manager is going to come in and solve all the problems. What do you fuck? Manchester United's problems, as we all know, exist much deeper than the manager. Ed Woodward is the puppet of the Glazers. He was there as the accountant when the Glazers took over. So he trust, the Glazers trust Woodward with their life. And Woodward's not going anywhere, even if some people do ridiculously pay for a banner to be flown over Old Trafford, which they absolutely shouldn't do. It's a fucking disgrace. But Woodward's a problem. The Glazers are the biggest problem. Fergie managed to survive under the Glazers with really little investment because he's one of the best managers in the world. When you've got City who are flying away with the league and then still sign Mahrez for 60 million, yes, we signed Fred and lot, but we needed a centre-back. Jose Mourinho made it clear that he needed a centre-back. But the powers that be at Manchester United that aren't footballing powers decided, no, we don't want your targets. And now we find ourselves in a situation where we've got an undermined manager who's starting to lose some support of the players, Certainly lost the support of the media. He's never had the fucking support of the media. I don't know. I, can, I just can't see a situation right now where I'll be happy that Jose Mourinho gets sacked and a new manager comes in. Maybe I'll be proven wrong. Maybe in a few weeks' time, a few months' time, Mourinho will be gone as Manchester United manager. We'll get a new manager in and everything will be perfect. I just don't think it will. And that why, that's why, for me... I still back Mourinho as manager. And I, I want to know exactly, let me know in the comments now, exactly why you don't back Mourinho as manager. What's the one reason that you, you can't trust him? Is it the fact that he plays pragmatic defensive football? Is it his demeanour and his attitude towards the players, his treatment of the players? Is it his failure in the transfer market since he's come in? I don't know. But I want Mourinho to be staying on as Manchester United manager for the time being. Give him this third year. This is his first initial three-year contract. United have had too much chopping and changing since Fergie went. Fergie went and Jill went. Woodward took over. And it's been a shower of shit since. But the sad thing is, is that Manchester United's shares hit an all-time high this week, despite not winning the Champions League, despite failing to qualify for the Champions League a couple of times as well. Man United, as a profitable entity, still ticking all the boxes for the Glazers. That's the biggest problem we got at this club. And I don't know. I just don't want to see Mourinho get sacked and Man United to go back to the situation where we sacked a manager after one year in charge, another manager after two years in charge, another manager after two years in charge. And we go back to the square one of getting a new manager in who brings a new squad in. Loads of players leave, loads of players come in. Will it work? Won't it work? I don't know. But I don't want that to happen right now with Mourinho. You might disagree, but if you do, let me know in the comments below. And as always, subscribe to United People's TV if you're new.